important meeting in September, uh, precisely on September 6th, uh, 2011, the transitional federal government, together with its partners and stakeholders, uh, Puntland State, Galmudug State, al al Jama'a, signed a very important and historic document called the Roadmap. The Roadmap um, enjoined all of us uh, to take um, certain important tasks. Uh, uh, those tasks would lead to the end of the current transition and would lead to um, uh, a permanent uh, institution-based uh, government by August 2012. The tasks are as follows, that we should engage in the constitutional making process um, um, that ends the transition, that we engage in uh, genuine reconciliation and political outreach to opposition groups, whether armed or non-armed, to continue doing our political outreach with the uh, entities, uh, Pontlan State, Galmudic State, al Sunnah wal Jama'a, um, uh, also to um, institute good governance structures uh, that give us the uh, upcoming government post the transition uh, all the uh, integrity institutions needed to carry a very good government and lastly but the most important task being to secure the country from anarchy and also from the grip of al-Shabaab when we were holding the first consultative meeting in September in Mogadishu, um, civil society were not included in that meeting. But um, leading to the uh, uh, preparation for uh, that meeting, there was uh, a strong debate, and uh, we resolved that if we don't bring them into that meeting, we will certainly hold a separate meeting for civil society so that we can get their input and also their support. Um, when we held the uh, uh, consultative meeting in September uh, and uh, civil society was not included, you guys made a press release and you condemned us. And I believe that was the right thing to do. Um, we heard you and we listened to you. And that's why, um, together with our stakeholders and our partners, we decided to hold this meeting. Uh, and the, the whole idea is that um, after the conclusion of this, of this three-day meeting and after getting your input, that you will be on the road map, map bandwagon so that we will all co-own the process. It will not be just the institutions of government, uh, stakeholders, but uh, that we will have a strong uh, component from civil society uh, input. Today is a great day for the Somali people. And I'm very happy to see all of you here. I wish this room was bigger. There would have been more people. But even if it is small, it is a great day because your presence here is a cross-section of the Somali people. The roadmap is meant to be one year, but the peace process has been 21 years. But we want to make this new effort in the peace process through the roadmap to be a different effort towards lasting peace in Somalia. Let me remind you what I believe you know. That before the roadmap, there were 15 
attempts to reach peace in Somalia, but they all failed. The roadmap is the 16th effort to gain lasting peace in Somalia. And I hope through the roadmap, we shall succeed to make progress on the peace process. The roadmap must be owned by four principal stakeholders. That is, the transition of federal government, parliament, the regional states of Puntland and Galmadu, and Al Suna Al Jama, which is a major fighting force. As the principal owners of the roadmap, but we also saw the need to include the civil society. And that is one of the differences, that this is a, an inclusive process, whereas previous efforts were not as inclusive as this one. Now, who are the civil society that have joined the roadmap? In you here today, you represent elders, religious leaders, women, business community, the diaspora, the young people, and intellectuals. You don't have to be part of the transition of federal institutions. You are from the society, and we feel you are also an important part in the ownership of the roadmap because you represent the grassroots population. <laughs> you are the guarantors of the peace process. You are giving strength to the peace process. You are giving blessing to the peace process. And that is why I said this is a landmark and this is a milestone. Because unless you own it, and unlike any other previous efforts, in those 15 attempts to bring peace, they were outside Somalia. This is inside Somalia. This is what makes the roadmap a different exercise. You as a civil society, what do I expect you to bring to this process? The honorable representative of the civil society said, the civil society can help bridge differences between politicians. That is one very important area. A bridge between political differences. Civil society, the power is in your hands. Help us. We have four pillars of the roadmap. Let me just tell you very little, because you'll have an opportunity to discuss. In the pillar of security, civil society, you are giving your children to fight for the TFG forces. They are dying. They are wounded. They are incapacitated. That is the big, and yet you are there and determined. You are the ones who are telling us where minds are. You are in the front line, and you bear the brand. Civil society, in pillar number one of security, you are also number one. In pillar number two, the constitution. The Constitution is really the first law. A Constitution must come from the bottom. It cannot come from the top. And what we are going to begin in Garraway, to start the process of the drafting and completing the Constitution, we shall need you. We need your ideas. We need you to own that, that process. And therefore, civil society, 
We cannot have a draft constitution or an interim constitution without your participation. That's why I'm so happy that you are now part of this process to implement the roadmap in the area of the constitution under the leadership of the ministers and Garroway is waiting for us to go and begin that process. It's not one event, it will continue until we adopt the, the constitution. Reform of parliament. Five hundred and fifty parliamentarians. <laughs> the parliamentarians are really revolutionary. They have said, we are going to reform ourselves. Some were doubting, can parliament reform itself? They have said, we are going to reform. But they say, in reforming ourselves, we want the participation and views of the civil society. So you will be part of this process, which the parliamentarians have already started working on it. Last Sunday, I was in Lemuru with the parliamentarians. They have started the debate on how to reform themselves. Those who are saying parliament cannot reform itself, I want to assure you, the process has started. And they are opening the door, opening the windows to bring fresh air from the civil society to see that parliament <laughs> is reformed. <laughs> This is part of bringing the roadmap to the grassroots, to the people through the civil society organizations. The roadmap feature is inclusivity, which started with bringing in the principal stakeholders who are the government, parliament, and the regional entities. But now it is extending to include the whole variety of civil society in the implementation of the roadmap. In a coming subcommittee, Now, first of all, there'll be discussion to understand the four pillars of the roadmap, which needs to be implemented in uh, the next six months or so and the discussion on where the civil society can participate uh, in accordance to their respective mandates of their organization and how especially the civil society will participate in the drafting and adoption of the constitution and in the reform of parliament. And I think this is a preparatory meeting because this is an ongoing process until such a stage where the constitution is completed, which I regard as one of the most important tasks to be accomplished in this period of the roadmap. Well, it has been a slow start, but we are catching up. We have established uh, working groups of each um, pillar, and the speed with which we are making is very encouraging because in the area of security and in the reform of parliament there have been considerable strides and we hope the process that will begin in Puntland on the drafting of the constitution will also go quickly. So we are catching up very quickly and we hope in the next 90 days there will be considerable progress in all round all the four pillars of the road.